Hello everyone, welcome to this special edition of CGTN. We're broadcasting live from Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And after driving for about five hours, we have arrived in Bohu County or Bayangoling, Mongol Autonomous Prefecture here. And actually, this is the largest prefecture level division in China. And Bayangoling literally means rich water. And behind me, this is Boston Lake. And the lake actually not only provides a beautiful view, breathtaking views actually, for tourists around the world, but also abandoned fishing resources. And here, you see tons of tourists are coming over this way. This morning, starting this morning actually, enjoying the views here. After the uh, coronavirus lockdown was lifted months ago, and then the tons of people can see flowers and everything. And over there, I think you can see a beautiful lake. And actually the lake in the past was nicknamed as the Western Sea in Xinjiang. And then you can imagine its vastness. Now, let's come over here so that I can enjoy the view over here. Hmm. And actually this place, I think you can see the post over here, the legend of water lilies here. And actually this is, uh, it has a large community of water lilies over here. And over here you can see on the water surface, water lilies, and they would open up, they would blossom probably after afternoon. Now, what time is it right now? It is around 13.30, half past one in the afternoon local time. So probably if you are in the United States, you are now midnight because you are 12 hours behind us. And here, it's uh, such a beautiful view. Of course, CGTN in the meantime is providing you with the uh, bird's eye view of this whole lake, which is usually nicknamed as the uh, Western Sea. And according to the uh, post here, the placard is that there used to be a girl living in a remote mountain village. The river around the village dried up, so she looked around for water every day. And in a foggy morning, she heard someone say, your eyes are so beautiful. When she looked back, there was a fish in the mud uh, of the river, looking at her with skills as blue as the sky. And the fish gave the girl the water, and I fell in love with her. Unfortunately, villagers walked into the river and died, despite how surprised and suspicious the villagers were. So marvelously, the children of fish and the girl live in the water forever, turning into water lily nowadays. I think that is one of the beautiful fairy tale stories that I have ever heard of. So basically, it's a love story, a girl and a boy, and then all of the uh, and their descendants actually fall into the water and they become the water lilies that we have right now. Yeah, it's lovely. And now if you have any questions, this is amazing Xinjiang. We have been traveling for about 7,000 kilometers already from northern Xinjiang now to the southeast part of it, southeastern part of this uh, autonomous region. And now it's a little bit chilly. If you come over to this part this time, yeah, definitely bring your damn coat. And of course, now over there, probably let me introduce you to the crew of CGTN of Amazing Xinjiang. And everyone is busy right now. Let me go and talk to them. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And I'm going to get back to your questions as soon as possible about Boston Lake, about Xinjiang in general. Just let me know. And uh, CGTN crew are working behind the scene. Probably you have never seen that before for this live, the live we're doing right now. And they are flying drones right now. Hello. Yeah. Probably uh, if we can give it a closer look and then you can see how it works over here. And that is the bird's eye view of Boston Lake. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. And they are concentrating 100%. That's a beautiful view. And then you can see from both of our camera lens the uh, bird's eye view of Boston Lake. And of course here, and then CGT and crew, we have been traveling, as I said just now, for about 7,000 kilometers all the way from northern Xinjiang to this area. That is amazing Xinjiang and the CGTN and everyone's working right now. Probably let me talk to my colleague here. She is actually the mastermind of this route. Come over here. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm working. working. You are working? Yes. You must working be really busy. <laughs> You're planning. She is uh, my colleague and she actually Hello. planned the whole route and all the packages 
and TV lives and live streams, including this one. Oh, this one included, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably not you. <laughs> okay. But basically, she is the mastermind, quoted mastermind of this、uh, route in southern Xinjiang. And then, how do you feel about the trip so far? You've been traveling for about two <gasps> thousand kilometers already. Yes,、oh. uh, I feel very tired. You feel tired? Yeah, actually, ah,、uh -huh. uh, no stop, just traveling, traveling from uh the west to the east、mm. of Xinjiang. From west to the east of Xinjiang. Day、okay. by day. Day by day. And、uh, today is the sixth or fifth day of our life. So、uh, this is actually the twenty. No, no, no. I mean, this is day twenty-six for me. Yeah. Yeah. I started from the very beginning already. Thank you very much for your hard work. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. And of course,、uh, probably some gadgets on the car. And this has been converted from a car Geely provided to the car for us. And then we've been traveling on the car for thousands of. Miles, and then the gadget codent. Yeah, we have been using this to transmit the signals so that you can see our TV live and also live streams over here. Yeah, that is how it works over here for TV and everything. Now let's、uh, move on to the next stop. Okay, if you have any questions, leave your comments on Facebook, YouTube, and Weibo. I'm gonna get back to your questions as soon as possible. This is amazing, Xinjiang. Let's go that way, probably. Okay. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Okay. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll see. I'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. Lovely trip. And now it's a little bit chilly, but Xinjiang the temperature difference is quite big actually. In the mornings and evenings, it's usually freezing cold, but now it's、uh, it's around thirty. It's around half past thirteen, so one p.m. local time. Now it's getting a little bit hot over here. I'm wearing my down coat, sweating a little bit. Now we can see people over here, and that one is our director. Probably let me talk to him to see how he feels about this trip. Yang Ren. <laughs> okay, that is lovely. It's a little bit chilly over here. If you have questions, please, please leave your comments down below. Let's get back to your questions as soon as possible. Now let's move that way, so that we can see more of the Western Sea. Come over here.、Mm. Okay, and this place is the Yacht Wharf. And actually, I tried that before a couple of times, and probably we can try that one more time over here. Let me open the gate. Let's come over here so that you can see the water more closely. Hmm. Okay. So can we turn the camera around so that they can see the water lilies over here? Yeah, as I said just now, the water lilies would usually blossom afternoon in the afternoon. Now it's half past one, so it is blossoming a little bit. It will open up, and then it will close up again in the evening when the nightfall comes, of course. And as I said, it is there. It is called the Western Sea, so it's a vast expanse of water over here. And basically, you can travel on the cruise ship. You can travel around this area. You can also go into that place in the center or in the middle of the water. Water body here. That's very. That's a lovely trip. I tr actually tried that a couple of times. If you come to Xinjiang, especially Mongolian,、uh, Mongol Autonomous Prefecture, come to this area. You can see the sea, water, especially after traveling through the desert all the way. And actually, a couple of days ago, we went to the second largest shifting sand desert in the world, Taklamakan, and we stayed in the desert for about two days. And now, finally, we are officially out of the desert. Now we are surrounded by the water body. It's such a different view here, actually. It forms a quite a striking contrast with the desert life we had a couple of days ago. Now let's、uh, walk around. Probably we can hop on the ship, and then we can travel a little bit on the Boston Lake. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. Hello. How? How are you doing? 
Good to meet you oh, again. Yes, I'm this is my colleague, good. senior correspondent of CGTN, and also our executive producer. Hello. Hello. Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Yes, hi. Good afternoon to you. Yeah. Is it? Yes, it's... It's a... Is this 1.30 p.m.? Yes, but, yeah. but uh, this should be the lunch time. <laughs> it should be the lunch time. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Just before the lunch time, we're doing this live so that you can have a well-rounded picture yes. of the Boston Lake. Yes. How do you feel? You just came this morning. Yes, I just came this morning. And mm. uh, yes, I, I, I've seen your TV uh, live on this boat. And yeah, we just did a TV live here. Yes. Yeah. It was not long. It's like no, 50 it minutes. Long, but I, I, I was talking to the the captain of the boat uh, uh -huh. and see if there is a chance to take another life uh, uh, while take uh, by by uh, you know in in those boats uh, motor boats motor boats <laughs> can we do that I don't know I don't know he 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 doesn't know he doesn't have any idea of that because uh -huh. he, he, did he you try the motor boats before no 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 not, not yet not, not, not this time not this time I, I, I'm thinking uh, of a, a uh -huh. Another issue. Uh, uh -huh. we are, we, we, we're now in, at the edge of the Tak Yeah, the, the, the edge of it. Yes, yeah. We are officially out of it now, oh, finally. Yes, but quite close to it. Quite, quite close, close to it. To it. Uh, we've been traveling, we, we've been traveling um, along the, the mm -hmm. southern edge of, uh, of, of Tak mm -hmm. and going through it. Yeah. Traveling through it, and now we're at the northern edge uh, uh, of the desert. Northern edge of the desert, oh, right? The desert. Ah. Uh, but um, you know, all the way we have uh, we have seen so many waters. So yeah. Is it? Is it? How do you feel now? Is it feel different, right? Uh, After traveling. Different. Yes, it's quite different from uh, all those lakes we have been. We have been like uh, this Saram Lake. The yeah. Lake. Oh, well, that's oh, a no, Sirem. Yeah, no, that Sirem, is Sirem. Sirem Lake, Lake in you, Northern. You haven't been there. You haven't been there. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, I went to Karnas. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, my question is that, uh, uh, that we, we, we have been to the places with so, so much waters. Yeah. Uh, but uh, all these places are around the, the China's biggest desert. Yeah. It's called Taklamaga. So That's where does these water come from? And this one, actually, much of the water flow, water inflow, actually, comes from the Kaido River. And that was the source of the water body here. And that accounts for 80% of it. And then it flows into yes. the Kongqie. Yes. They call it Kongqie River, which literally means the Peacock River. Okay. Right? So wh wh where does the water up the river, in the river, come from? Probably from the mountain. Oh, from the mountain. Yeah. Yes, we're quite close to... Uh, Tianshan Mountain. The Tianshan Mountain. The mountain ranges over there. If we roll the camera around, if we roll the camera around, so then you can see the mountains over there. Can we see? Yeah, oh, you right can. There. Over there? Uh, yes. Okay. So, so over there, if we zoom in a little bit, hopefully you can see that. So it's different probably actually. You can see myriad of yes, pink uh, probably, colors probably, over yes, here. Uh, the other uh, side of the yard, we can see more mountains, uh, which is Tianshan Mountain. Yeah. Yes. We can see more of the mountains over here mm -hmm. and now over there you can see that is very much like the desert. I think that's yeah. the edge of it, the yeah. second largest shifting sand desert, Gobi Taklamakan. Desert. Yeah, Gobi desert. Gobi desert, that's right. And then over here, today is a little bit foggy, mm -hmm. but beyond the mountain uh, from afar, you can see that's the uh, mountain range. Those are the mountain ranges over there behind that. And also the reed over here and the reeds are turning yellow as the autumn rose around. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, this is as this is the hinterland of China. Yeah, there's hinterland uh, of China. Uh, does it mean that the water mm -hmm. is not able to to you know traveling all the way to the sea? No, because it is the inland freshwater. Oh yes. Yeah, it's uh, China's largest inland freshwater. Mm -hmm. Now, is this uh, now we have got some comments here on yes. Facebook. Yes. And the first one is from Kira Ma Khan. I hope that I've pronounced your name correctly. They're so amazing. Thank you very much. And also we got Hilary, Diona, Gabrielle, a nice one. And also we have got, that is uh, Xi'an, Panta. Thanks, my lovely neighbor country, China. <laughs> you are gaining popularity in the world. God always blesses you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, keep commenting. And this is uh, the Boston Lake. We are broadcasting live in yes. Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And this is the... Uh, this is also called the Western Lake, 
of China in the, the past. Oh, the Western Sea. No, 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 not Western yeah. Lake, Western Sea. Western Sea, oh, the Western Sea. Yeah, yeah. it used to be called the Western sea. sea. It's very much like a Western Sea. I saw some little fish in the water. Yeah, some do little you know, fish. Uh, do you know, they, they, they do some fishing around. around. Yeah, it's they do have some fishing activity. There are, do you know how many species of them all together in the lake? I don't know. 32. 32? Yeah. Oh. There were 32 kinds of them, okay. and many of them actually were introduced back probably 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and then they started the fishing activity, but fishing ban is quite strict. Probably we should move on the, uh, the yacht so that you can have a better view of the western, of the western sea, of Boston Lake. I'm always wondering what Boston Lake means. Boston Lake. Over uh. here. This one or that one? I'm this it one. It should be a name translated from a, a local language, from a Mongol. Mongolian. Yeah, probably. Okay. The local language, Mongolian. All right. Later on, we'll check. Okay. Do After you. you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's such a view here. Yeah. The view on the upper deck is much better. Mm-hmm. You are doing live. I. I was, uh, I, was, I was down there, but I didn't see too much. Yeah, I didn't see too much. I was doing a live this morning. I did a TV live here, just around this area. Yeah, and have we got some comments again? That is from Brian. Mm -hmm. That is Brian Davenport. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Brian watching from Solomon Islands. Hello, Brian. Thank Hello. you for watching. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Mm -hmm. did, uh, all right. Uh, I, I saw, yeah, yeah, there are 32 species, you mean the, uh, the, the, the 32 fish species, or, fish species. Uh, including the, uh, the, the plants uh -huh. around here. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, probably we can drive around just okay, so that great, we can see great. more. Yes, yes, I yes. would like to go there. Yes. Yeah, the reed forest. The reed <laughs> yeah. forest. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's very much like a shrub. I like the water lily. Water lily. Water lily, not more. And you, uh-huh. So I, I have some water it is at home in my tiny garden about uh, half of this uh, half of this big uh -huh. you have a garden yes, at home in Beijing <laughs> yeah, tiny one tiny one yes it's such a luxury to have a garden <laughs> to own a garden in Beijing of course now we are moving right now on the yacht in the meantime uh, we have a bird's eye view of this lake and then you can see this lake there's a vast expanse of water we're moving around. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. Oh, is it moving? Yeah, it is moving. We are traveling that way. That way? Yeah. You make sure there's uh, plenty of network. Yeah, plenty of network. Ho hopefully the network would hold it. Okay. That's lovely. There are some tourists coming over already, right? Yes. This place is actually... Yeah, you can see, you can hear the siren. It means we're moving off the coast. And over there, if we turn the cameras around, there are some tourists already. I think they went around to the lake in this morning and they have come back. Usually for a round trip, it's uh, around 40 minutes. 40. Yeah, 40 minutes. Yeah, by the way, this is the national holiday oh, yes. and also mid-autumn day, so we have a seven days off. Yes. So families are coming out to enjoy their holidays. But there should have been, uh, there should have been much more people, Yeah. Uh, usually in the previous year, mm -hmm. yeah, because of the epidemic. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, it is over. <laughs> it is over in yeah, Xinjiang that, already. Much better. I, yeah. I, I, I saw, I saw, cause I, I guess I need to stand closer. Uh, I, I saw the news uh, this morning in Urumqi and several other big cities around mm -hmm. Xinjiang, even in many other cities around the northwest. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the traffic on the street, traffic inside the city, mm -hmm. were around the sightseeing places mm -hmm. are quite busy. Yeah, uh, the traffic is back. It's, uh, yes. the, the city's vibrancy is back already. Yes. Yeah. And we have got a friend that is Eddie. Hi, watching from the Philippines. Wow, so amazing. Thank you very much. And also we have uh, Biswanjit Mondol. So nice. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, if you like the post, don't forget to share the post with your friends or probably give us a heart. Mm, we're moving that way. Hopefully the internet will work. So far it is working quite well. 
We can't move that far, right? <laughs> we can't move that far. It's I a, she has the same microphone. Yeah, it's a large water body. And then, so on the right side, if we turn the camera around to that side, you can see the rays over here. If we turn the camera, if we move around here. I, I, I wonder, I wonder these rays are naturally, naturally growing here or they are planted. They're natural. They're yeah, natural. this is very much like a natural pot, okay. like a, like so a natural amazing. wetland. So it's just amazing. The, the Gobi Desert is about uh, just about uh, a few kilometers away. Yeah, and uh, we're we're traveling uh, on the water, uh, which is quite similar to uh, those lakes and waters in the south of China. Yeah, that's yes. true. But it, in, somehow I feel it is a little bit different. It's quieter. It's quieter. Yeah, yeah. this place is yeah. tucked away in the desert. <laughs> yeah, definitely surrounded by the desert. And out of sudden, it's very much like an oasis. Yeah. But Boston Lake, is it, is it pronounced like Boston? Like, yeah, Boston Lake. The Boston Lake. The yeah. Boston Lake uh, uh, has already been a very famous, well-known yeah. sightseeing place in China mm -hmm. uh, because of the uh, fishing, the beautiful landscapes around it. Uh, Special way of cooking. Yeah, they have the. Uh, it is also quite well known, quite prestigious, I have to say, with its uh, fish feast. Yeah, there were 32 kinds of fish species in the lake. So, and also uh, a great majority of the population who lives here actually are Mongols. Oh, you were not with mm. us last night. Yeah, when we were having uh, when we had dinner in in, in uh, the city. Today. And this is Kola. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, we had a pair of fish about this big. About that big? Yeah, about this big. Ah. <laughs> and the, 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 the host told us uh, that the fish is from this lake. And, from this uh, lake, from Boston. Yes, yes. And in mm. summertime, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the tourists from all over, all over the country flock to this place. And, uh, you know, the local government organized, usually organized uh, several. Uh, several big events uh, in June and July mm -hmm. uh, where we can find people cook tons of fish with a huge pot. Ah, with a huge pot. Yes, about two tons of water can be cooked at the same time. Ah, that is <laughs> that is not a pot, it's very much like a vat. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. so now we okay, are... Okay, well, something's wrong with your sound effect. Yeah, no, sound, sound effect, yeah, we yes. can take it off so that both of us can okay. talk. Okay, right. into the microphone here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's lovely. That yeah, I never did. I never did this before. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is quite new. Probably Sound, the first yeah, time. Yeah, it seems like really you're inter interview interviewing me. Yeah, yeah, that is lovely. And we are moving back to the shore right now. Yes. Uh huh. And just a, probably a recap of what we talk about just now. This is Boston Lake and the largest of. England freshwater lake in China and also it is home to multiple fish species of bird species and water lily is your favorite yes my favorite my uh, favorite plant and also we have the uh, reed sources over here mm -hmm. okay I think that's the largest community probably yes. one of the largest communities in China yes. I mean for the reeds for the yes. reeds over here yes okay probably these reeds are very good materials for for paper industry for paper well. and yes. painting and everything <laughs> yes okay yes. and the reeds now are turning yellow as autumn is rolling around it's very well, much probably, like yes in yeah. half a month that would be in half a month be, it's yes, totally it golden be, uh, yes uh, the greens and mm -hmm. yellows and some mm -hmm. of the reds uh, mm -hmm. among them among these plants that, that would be lovely okay yeah that is so beautiful there are so many yes. tourists right now yes. and i think we just had a round trip over yes. here and I would like to end it here, probably. Oh, good. Yeah, that's no, good because it's lunchtime. Uh, yeah. Even though it's two o'clock, but it's, it's lunchtime in Xinjiang. Yeah. <laughs> it's lunchtime in Xinjiang. Yeah, Xinjiang is probably... The, actually, there is a time difference, right? Yes, yeah. about two hours. About two hours time We're difference to Beijing. So now, basically, it's, it's noon. It's like 12. Yes. So we're going to have lunch and then enjoy the rest of your day. If you're in China, of course, if you're in the United States or other countries, and this is midnight in the United States, mm -hmm. or probably in the afternoon or midnight in Europe. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of the day, have a nice day. And we have two more, we have two more lives later today. Yeah. One is, uh, it's a TV live, huh? Yes, TV uh, live. TV live, uh, around, TV live uh, around, around 8 local uh, time. Yes, 8.30. Uh, 8.30, uh, 8 8 yeah, 8.30, half past 8 and... Yes. 
At nine, we're going to have a live stream. Oh, okay. Yes. Another I'm one. Look, I'm looking forward to those lives eh, because I, I was told that the second one uh, uh, should be very interesting. It's very interesting. We're going to have a bonfire. Oh, great! <laughs> another party. <laughs> yeah, another party. It is not called my sea life anymore. Mm -hmm. This is. It should be in Mongolian. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's yes. see what will happen later. Okay. Okay. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments and everything. Bye bye. We're going to have lunch soon. Bye for now.